Hey Darren, it's a pleasure working with you and helping you get started in golf. You made some great progress in four days. I really want you to study these videos so you know what to practice. Get some great shots. Now it's just a matter of becoming more consistent. We're looking at the driver here. A couple things with the driver that changes in the setup is that you have the ball more across from your left foot and your upper body is more behind. The reason why you do that is you want to swing up on the ball. You don't want to make any grass contact with this club. If you do make grass contact, you'll pop up underneath it. The ball goes straight up in the air, not very far. You've got Tiger here as an example as well. He's actually got a three wood, as you can see, that's off the ground. So it's not going to be quite as much towards the left foot. But you can see how his head is well behind the ball a lot like yours. So this is this is a good setup. From there it's just a regular golf swing but since you have the ball across from the inside of your left foot and your upper body, your sternum and your head's behind the ball that will encourage swinging up on it and you'll hit a good shot. You want to tee up the ball so half the golf ball is below the club head. So this is the iron shot. As you can see, the ball is more in the center of your two feet, and your head and sternum are more across from the golf ball. This setup will encourage more of a downward strike, which you want any time the ball is on the grass. You can see how you can see the back of your left hand. That's a good sign. You can see a little bit of the logo of the grip. If you start hitting golf balls to the right, you need to turn your left hand so you can see more logos, more of the logo on your grip, which would be turning the hand to the right. Okay, so the fundamentals we worked on in your swing focused around two things that really helped you do very well. One, is keeping your head still. Not necessarily keeping your head down because the head does come up because you want to be able to see the shots. But keeping the head still on the backswing is so important. We don't want to see it go up and we don't want to see it go slide to the right. The other thing we wanted to see was wrist hinge on the backswing. So I really like this setup. Weight 50-50, feet shoulder width apart, hands slightly ahead of the golf ball. This looks good. Let's see how you do. So you can start to see the bend in the wrist. It's pretty good. It could be bent a little bit more. That angle could be closer to 90 or even less than 90. It's pretty good. Your head has come up a little bit. So you've raised your upper body and your spine. You haven't swayed to the right, which is good. And then the head's coming up. So you can definitely see how you've got some lift up right there at the last second. Really good job with the wrist hinge at the top. So you can see how since you've lifted your head up like that, you now have to lunge down to try to get it in a similar position of where it started so you can hit the ball solid. This particular time, you happen to get it back down pretty good, and this, this is a pretty good shot. You can see, remember we want the divots in front of that line, and you can see your divot pretty much in front of that line. So this is a pretty good shot. You happen to get the head back down close to where it started. But if you want to be consistent, hit 7 out of 10 good shots, you really want to work on keeping that head there the whole time. A good way to do that is cross your arms, put a club over your shoulder, work on turning your body back and through while keeping your head the same level. So great wrist hinge. You did one of the two things we're looking for. 
and then it obviously it'll come up at the end. And take a look at take a look at Adam Scott. It's currently the whoops. Sorry about that. Adam Scott's the I think he's ranked number two right now in the world. Second best player in the world. Take a look at his head and his wrist hinge. Oh, the camera moved. Let me do that again real quick. So you can see Adam Scott, he's got more of a 90 degree angle here. I don't mind that your left arm is bent a little bit. That that's okay. But the wrist angle isn't quite as sharp. Now that's much better than what you used to do. But you could sharpen that up a little bit and get a little bit more wrist angle. But take note how still Adam Scott kept his head in that backswing. I mean that's just unbelievable. So you can see how you're you're a little off there. Okay, so in the full swing, working on wrist hinge and keeping the head very still. From this angle, we can look at the same stuff you're working on, which is wrist angle and So one thing we talked about is, is a little bit less knee flex and more upper body over. You can see, Adam Scott, you're a little bit more, you don't quite have as much of an angle. So less knee flex, butt out, upper body a little bit more over. See, you get that lift there. So you're good, you're good. You're starting to get the hair sins, then you get the lift. Your arms look good, and the upper body's turning. That's all good. But you've really lifted up quite a bit. So if you were to swing down from that position, you totally miss the ball. So you've got to lunge down and try to find the same position you started, a downswing that lasts less than half a second very difficult at the time. So you can look at Adam Scott. Okay, just something for you to work on in the future. So this one you happen to get down there and you struck this one pretty well. Remember this good shot? See, I mean that, that's a good hit there. Hitting the ball. Ball's going up in the air. It's going pretty straight. So You're definitely getting better, but to be as consistent as I know you'd like to be, definitely got to turn your body like Adam Scott does without lifting your head. So the left shoulder is going to come underneath. You're going to see the left shoulder much lower than the right. So right there, it's like your left shoulder kind of hits your chin and pushes everything up. Things to work on. Okay, so this is an extremely important shot. It's a chip shot. Used from zero to 40 yards from the green. Feet close together, weight leaning left. You get your right knee leaning left, but other than that, not much else is leaning left. Got the hands forward, which is good. So, good setup here. It's not bad leaning left. So feet close, leaning left, choking up on the club, standing the club a little bit more vertical, standing a little closer. So I really like where 
the hands are at the moment. I'm going to put a circle on the hands because I would like to see you hit the ball as the club head strikes the ball in the exact same place. So I don't want the hands to be back. I want them to be forward. The hands lead the club head. Let, let's see where you start here. So we'll take a look at your head in relation to that line. Let's see if you fall back any. Good back swing. You're kind of falling back there a little bit. You kept your body priest down and you hit this. This is a really, really good shot. So this was much better than some of your other shots where your, your right knee goes towards the ball and the weight goes back on the right. So you can see how you've kept your your body leaning left. Head's pretty much where it started. The hands are in front of the ball, which is why you hit this ball solid. They're not as front as they started, but at least they're ahead of the line and the lines on the ball. So if you keep your weight leaning left, forward, and the hands are in front of the club head at impact, there's a very good chance you'll hit a solid shot. And that's what you need to work on in this swing. And look at, and this is where you stop, right here. Doesn't need to go any further. And you try to get this as much of a straight line as possible. You're pretty close there. So, good work. There's one other thing I wanted to touch on real quick. And that is lining up the ball to this part of the club head, trying to hit it off that part of the club head, avoiding the hosel. So if you get it off that outer edge, you really get some good shots.